uh, like I could not judge was the shade Bloom. It looked really, really pretty uh, on screen, on the gram and on the videos. It looked really, really pretty and gorgeous. That's the reason I bought it. But it doesn't uh, really show up on my lips. That's all for the video. I hope you all like it. It's a lot of effort to make Let's talk about the internet's most favorite lip crayons currently uh, that are getting viral and because of all the good reasons. Yes, I'm talking about the color chemistry lip and cheek crayons which are like current Instagram's favorite lip crayons, lip and cheek crayons and they definitely uh, deserve to get viral, they deserve to get uh, loved and they deserve to get owned by the beauty lovers like us and they are now currently at a super amazing discount like three lip and cheek crayons for only 9.99 so you can grab uh, what all your favorite shades are they have got such an gorgeous shade uh, collection that you cannot resist just owning them grabbing them i have several shades here with me almost 11 shades and i'll be swatching them and sharing my views on them so let's head towards the video these are the lip crayons that I have and I'll be swatching them one by one. They come in a packaging like this, a cardboard packaging and they are available like this inside the cardboard packaging. This is how they look and all the shades are mentioned here. Each and every detail about the product is here and all the shades are very well uh, shown up here. That's really nice and the shade is written well mentioned over the cardboard packaging and it is also mentioned on the lip uh, the crayon itself which is really nice because when you don't have the cardboard packaging it's really easy to make out the shade so this is the shade i have here is mulberry so it's a beautiful beautiful brownie yes it's a brownish kind of shade brownish red so i picked up this first so let's swatch this because i haven't swatched it this is brand new let's swatch it quickly i have removed the lip balm that was on my lips and they are now bare lips nothing on it let's swatch the shade mulberry first first you need to outline your lips and then fill it up that is the correct way to fill up these uh, crayons with your lips on your lips Okay. Like I said, it's a beautiful deep red kind of shade, a brownish red kind, which is like perfect uh, for Indian skin tones, medium Indian skin tones to even Vetish skin tones. Uh, this shade would look gorgeous. This is the shade Mulberry for you. The next shade I have here with me is called Terracotta. I think this one is a brownish shade as far as I know. Yes, it's a brownish shade. This also is my first ever lip swatch. It is uh, how the shade is. It's like a medium brown shade as far as I can make out. This is like a medium brown shade. Let's swatch it first. This is the shade Terracotta for you. It's a medium brown shade that would complement uh, Indian skin tones, medium to deep to even fair skin tones. This is that uh, universal kind of brown shade. It's not too very dark. It's not too very subtle brown. It's somewhere between uh, brown. So it's a good medium brown shade. Let's swatch the shade Lychee. It looks a beautiful mauveish toned pink color that I guess, let's see. Wow. It's a beautiful, beautiful uh, mauveish kind of pink shade or a beautiful warm kind of pink shade. Also, you can make out it looks more warmer uh, 
uh, on my skin tone but it looks extremely beautiful and gorgeous and lovely it's a beautiful shade uh, that would complement almost all indian skin tones this is the shade lychee for you the next shade i have here is called freesia which again is a red a cool toned red shade and it looks even more beautiful in person than on the instagram oh my god this is even more stunning than i had assumed you can see how stunning this looks on me and i'm sure it looks it will look this stunning on each and every indian skin tone this is the shade freesia for you and absolutely uh, my favorite shade from the whole range it's unbelievably stunning and gorgeous shade on me and this has to be my most favorite shade from the range the next shade i have here is called apricot this too is a medium brown shade it's from a brown family let's quickly swatch it This is the shade Apricot for you, a medium brown shade that would go well with all skin tones. Like a perfect brown. Let's swatch this gorgeous shade called Camellia. it's like a warm pinky shade that is definitely uh, looking beautiful on my skin tone and it would complement the medium indian skin tones like me definitely you can definitely use such a beautiful shade for your blush as well I even got their kabuki brush which is just perfect for blending in the cheek products so let's see That's it This is how it comes very well packaged the quality is absolutely like 10 on 10 it is performing its job like a pro this one really looks real nice on the cheeks like a medium warm shade pink definitely a summer blush shade and this one shade called camellia is definitely a good pick for summers for your lips for your cheeks it's quite suitable Let's head towards the shade called cinnamon. It looks like quite a muted kind of nude brown shade. Hope it goes well with my lips and my skin. So this is the shade cinnamon for you. Like I said it's too very muted kind of brown just like skin but still you can use it for on your daily basis and also if you like prefer nude kind of makeup looks or no makeup looks uh, you can definitely use this shade. I guess I can use it for my blush purpose let's see on my apples of the cheeks
excellent it's giving beautiful flushed rosy cheeks it gives quite a rosy nude kind of blush to you like i said it's a perfect uh, shade for your nude makeup looks for your daily makeup looks for your subtle uh, makeup looks it's an excellent blush shade and also it looks uh, pretty decent on your lips and a good one i really like this shade next shade i have here is called nectarine which i think is a beautiful mauveish pink shade let's watch this is nectarine for you wow this is really a gorgeous shade let's swatch it on cheeks and i'm pretty sure it would look bomb on cheeks using the same brush this brush is also a lovely one like it blends in the blush products the cheek products like in no time it's a must have blush brush that's it oh my god you can see the level of glam it has added to my cheeks it's absolutely an amazing and stunning a gorgeous shade a 10 on 10 shade like freesia uh, is one favorite and this is now one my second favorite from the range this is nectarine for you definitely a must have in your collection the next shade i have here is called bloom which is again uh, the most trending uh, shade on the gram let's swatch it this again is pretty muted uh, kind of shade like cinnamon mm. I don't think it is much complementing my complexion as far as I can see. It's like totally nil uh, color. Uh, it doesn't really show up on my complexion but this is quite a pretty shade as a <coughs> sorry quite a pretty shade uh, as I saw on the net. I I got like mixed feelings for this. Uh do share your views if you like this shade how it looks on you. On me it's looking like completely muted kind of shade which I do not really prefer. The final shade I got here is called Resin which is a deep wine shade that would definitely uh, like as a universal shade would complement each and every kind of skin tone. and these crayons are very comfortable very hydrating they are like they're not drying to your lips the formula is very comfortable very very uh, hydrating to your lips and it lasts uh, pretty long i have used it uh, like for several hours and it stayed there for several hours so it's uh, pretty long lasting and out of all the shades the only one i could not uh, make out uh, like i could not judge was the shade bloom it looked really really pretty uh, on screen on the gram and on the videos it looked really really pretty and gorgeous that's the reason i bought it but it doesn't uh, really show up on my lips can't really say much about bloom but this one is uh, resin for you 
an absolutely gorgeous shade just like Freesia and Mulberry. I definitely must have it. They are lovely comfortable formula kind of lip shades. Uh, Especially the darker shades like Freesia, Mulberry and this resin are absolutely must have for Indian skin and I definitely recommend them. Coming to the last shade from the collection that I own. This is the shade called Rust which is that one particular shade which is a mix of peach, coral and brown all the three and this would look amazing on Indian skin. Let's swatch. This is the shade Rust for you. Like I said, it's a mix of peach, coral and brown that is just the kind of shade that complements medium Indian skin extremely well. It is that one shade and it would look definitely, definitely great on all kinds of Indian skin tones or any other skin tones and I would definitely recommend uh, this one shade and this one makes a great blush too they are super creamy they blend in really really well and disperse into the skin to give this flush of natural looking color to your cheeks which is absolutely amazing like i said it makes a super amazing blush and that's all for the video i hope you all like it bahut mehnat lagi hai banane mein comment your most favorite shade from all the 11 shades that i have mentioned thanks for watching bye